funsupermart.com. The mandate for Aberdeen Asian Local Currency Short Duration Bond Fund specifies certain parameters for acceptable investments such as duration and type of issuer. Within these constraints, what strategies does the fund use to outperform the benchmark? The benchmark for us is a reference point. We, don't, we, we, we use that as a means to identify the universe of opportunities within Asia. We're not beholden to the benchmark. We, we, we're aware that the benchmark exists. Um, but we don't try to replicate the benchmark uh, in any way, nor are we constrained uh, in, by, by way of any tracking error restrictions therein. Uh, with respect to the management of the portfolio, we have a couple of key principles in mind. One is to, to keep the portfolio diversely allocated across the broad suite of currencies within Asia. Two is to, to within that uh, framework, to seek to enhance the yield of the portfolio. Obviously, when people are giving us money to invest in the local currency bond markets, we, they're looking for uh, a, an, in, an enhancement to the yield as best uh, possible. Uh, thirdly, um, we look to, to manage the currency risk, to identify the opportunities within Asia uh, for currency appreciation on a relative value basis. So when it comes to, to adding value within the mandate, uh, first and foremost, we're looking at, at uh, seeking uh, yield uh, within, the, within the, the, the countries that we're, we're allocating to. Sometimes that means having to extend, uh, the whole, extend the duration or maturity profile of the holdings of the portfolio a little longer uh, than, than three years uh, to en en enhance the returns of, of the, the portfolio coming from the interest rate strategies. At other times, it is, it, it is uh, the, in the interest of the portfolio to shorten the duration profile. If the, if the market is well-priced for, for interest rate uh, declines, then uh, there is some uh, significant opportunity to, to move shorter. Importantly also, we think a lot about uh, identifying relative value opportunities. So in some markets, uh, there are instruments issued by the government uh, that yield a higher, higher yield than others. And so as a result, we uh, seek to position the portfolio in these uh, bonds that uh, will enhance the yield of the portfolio. With respect to the currency management, uh, as I said, the most important aspect of, of managing currencies in our view is to remain active, to be aware of the relative value opportunities. We, we have a very struct positive structural uh, view with respect to the, the likely performance of Asian currencies over the medium term. But that's not to say all Asian currencies will perform in line with one another. At various points in time, it, we will identify candidates for outperformance within the Asian currency universe. And, and so what we seek to do is to rotate out of, out of the, the candidates where we think the currencies will underperform into, the, can, into those currencies where we expect outperformance. For example, in, in the period in the third, before the third quarter of last year, uh, at around June, July last year, we were concerned about the, the level of, 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 uh, of complacency that people were, were, uh, had developed with respect to some of the events happening in Europe. And so what we sought to do was to reduce the risk, the risk coming from the currency strategies in the portfolio by reducing our exposure to the Korean won in favour of the, the Chinese renminbi, a much uh, more attractive currency in times of uncertainty. If we move into, into the period at the end of, of January and into February, we're much more confident about the, the, the likely performance of Asian currencies and indeed uh, we, we've begun to see evidence of an improvement in risk appetite. As a result, we reduced our exposure to the, to the, to the, to the Chinese renminbi, that lower beta, lower risk currency, and reallocated the, 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 the exposure back into the Korean won to participate in the improving uh, risk appetite and, and likely performance on a relative basis of the currencies, uh, the Korean won relative to the, to the others. How was the fund's positioning prior and after the upgrade of Indonesia's credit rating? Was the rating upgrade expected and were significant changes made to the portfolio thereafter? Indonesia has uh, long been a, a very uh, positive story uh, in, in the view of the Aberdeen team. Uh, we, we particularly like the, the significant enhancements to uh, the administrative effort, the coordination of policy in Indonesia. Indonesian policymakers have been focused on, on encouraging uh, infrastructure uh, investment in the country. Importantly for us as, as investors, particularly currency investors, 
uh, the most important dynamic and feature of that coordination has been in the, in the encouragement of, of foreign direct investment. The Indonesian authorities uh, are very keen to harness foreign capital to participate in, in the investment opportunities in Indonesia. That's very positive for the performance of the, of the Indonesian currency, in our view. So in the period uh, in September, when, when people were moving to position themselves very cautiously, we used the opportunity to actually add our exposure to the Indonesian bond market and also to the Indonesian currency in view of this very positive structural uh, outlook that we, we have. We have, uh, I guess, been disappointed with the rating agencies and that they've really lagged the, the, the economic development. Uh, they're really playing catch up, the, the, the rating agencies. And so we, were, we, we have been positioned uh, quite favorably and, 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 and t in anticipation of the likely upgrades for Indonesia. The, the, the upgrade by, by uh, Moody's in, in uh, January really has uh, excited the, the marketplace because it now lifts Indonesia into uh, investment grade status. The, the Indonesian market responded favorably, the bond, bonds have rallied. Uh, the currency also uh, moved uh, in, in a favorable way. At this point, uh, with respect to our, our positioning, we have begun to scale down our exposure to Indonesia in light of the market now pricing what we had anticipated. However, we still remain very optimistic with, re with respect to the medium to longer term opportunity. I think Indonesia will be one of those economies that, that uh, will perform very strongly over the, over the medium to longer term, primarily because of the very, very strong and very credible uh, policy coordination, uh, particularly with, res res with respect to the infrastructure development focus.